Picasso borrows a book. Picasso the penguin was excited to borrow his first book. He pulled open the big library doors and walked in. Can I help you? The librarian quietly asked him. I'd like to borrow a book about fish, Picasso whispered. Picasso followed the librarian to the children's book section. He looked through books until he found the perfect one. I found it! Picasso said loudly, holding it up high. <laughs> Everyone in the library whispered. The librarian helped him fill out his own library card. Picasso whispered, What else do librarians do? The librarian showed him her glue, tape, and scissors. We fix books when they get damaged, she explained. The librarian showed him her big cart full of books. We put books away when they come back, she explained. Would you like to help me put them away, she asked. Sure, Picasso replied happily. Picasso's First Day Picasso the Penguin waddled into his classroom. It was his first day of kindergarten. The teacher walked in and said, I'm Mrs. Willow. Hi, Mrs. Willow. All of the students said, What do teachers teach? Picasso asked. She handed him a book. We teach you to read. And we teach you to spell, Mrs. Willow said. Mrs. Willow wrote Picasso on the chalkboard. We teach you to add and subtract, Mrs. Willow said. Mrs. Willow wrote one plus one equals two on the chalkboard. We teach you how to play games, Mrs. Willow said. Picasso jumped excitedly and asked, What else? We teach you to raise your hand before you speak. Picasso raised his hand and waved it until she nodded. Can you teach me where the playground is? Picasso pleaded. Before Mrs. Willow could reply, Picasso was already halfway there. Picasso's Uncle Pete. Picasso dragged a big garbage bag along the street. His Uncle Pete was the new trash man. Picasso jumped up and down when the truck arrived. Uncle Pete! Picasso said excitedly. Suddenly, Picasso smelled something really terrible. It doesn't smell pretty, does it? Uncle Pete asked him. So, why do you do this job? Picasso asked. What would happen if nobody did it? Uncle Pete asked. Picasso imagined streets filled with garbage. Oh, the smell would be awful, Picasso said, wrinkling his nose. Picasso imagined big flies carrying away his lunch. There would be a lot of flies everywhere, Picasso said. 
Picasso imagined an almost empty allowance jar. I wouldn't get any allowance for taking out the trash. So, you're a type of trash man too, Uncle Pete said. Picasso replied, Yes, you're the best, Uncle Pete. Picasso mails a letter. Picasso carried a big white envelope into the post office. Can I mail this letter? He asked the postman. Of course! Where is it going? The postman asked. Picasso replied, To the North Pole! First, write the address here, the postman said. Picasso wrote, North Pole! in the middle of the envelope. Next, write your address here, the postman said. Picasso wrote Penguin Lane in the top left corner. Lick this stamp and stick it here, the postman said. Picasso licked it and stuck it in the top right corner. The postman dropped the letter into a slot. Picasso said, That's not the North Pole. Other postmen will take it to the North Pole, he replied. Picasso asked, Can I please have another stamp? Do you have another letter to mail? The postman asked. No, sir. I want to mail myself to the North Pole! Picasso's Grocery List Picasso waddled into the grocery store carrying a list. How can I help you? The grocer asked. Picasso held up his list. I have a grocery list. The grocer read, Bread? Milk? broccoli, and eggs. Picasso followed the grocer to the dairy section. The grocer put milk and eggs in Picasso's basket. Picasso crossed off milk and eggs from the list. Picasso followed the grocer to the vegetable section. The grocer put broccoli in Picasso's basket. Picasso crossed broccoli off his list. Picasso followed the grocer to the bakery section. The grocer put bread in Picasso's basket and said, Done! Picasso shook his head. Mom forgot something on the list. Hmm, what did she forget? asked the grocer. Candy! Picasso said. The grocer laughed. <laughs> she didn't forget you, naughty penguin. 